Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here with a different video today. I have a laptop, this one is a Pavilion, HP Pavilion, the 15-CW model. This applies for any CW model series. This particular one is a CW1063WM. So in this video, we're gonna go through how to open it up and how to replace your battery. If your battery is not holding up or you get a battery that is not charging, you want to replace it, this video is for you. Before we get started, you need a couple of stuff. Number one will be a screwdriver set. I use the iFixit tool set. They are really, really good to have around the shop or in the house as they have all the bits that you need to open any cell phone or laptops and they last very, very long time. From this set, we're going to be using Phillips number double zero and Phillips zero. So these two bits we're gonna be using. And next tool and the most important tool is gonna be an opening tool. You can use the opening tool that they actually provide in the kit with the iFixit tool set. And the tool set that they give you, it comes with the, this one right here. It comes with that opening tool, which is really nice. And you can use this one. Or if you want to go with a cheaper version, you can use a guitar pick. As the guitar picks are really have a really soft edges and really tough and it fits nice in your hand. So in this case, I'm going to use a guitar pick to show you guys how to use it anyway. So number one, you want to remove these two back, two back rubbers right here. One on every corner, so you stick the this guitar pick right underneath and left up has a little adhesive to it so once you lift up this uh, covers you want to use Phillips number zero to remove these three black screws these three black screws are the same size and height so don't worry about mismatching them all right next you want to change to bit number two zeros double zero Phillips and you want to remove the three screws are, that are visible in front of your laptop. These are the short white color or silver color screws. Again, these screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching these ones neither. Now, next, and the fun part. We're going to grab the opening tool and we're going to start uh, pushing it right between the top and the bottom cover, starting from the uh, I will say right side if you want to, bottom right side, stick it right there, and then you want to work it around, try to twist it, and you're going to hear some clips, just cracking, that's what you want, you see how it's opening, and you want to work yourself toward the back, go to the corners, and now you got this whole part open. Now, you want to go right where the hinges are, and try to open these ones a little bit. As soon as you see this gap opening, yeah, that's how much you want. And then go to the the back. Now, now once you get to the back here, you want to stick the guitar pick about two or three millimeters inward. You don't want to pull it towards the inside the laptop on this portion. You want to push it, pull it towards the other side as you're opening a can. So put it in there and then squeeze it like that. Towards the back. And you want to go all the way to the other corner. Now, once you got this back side open, you want to use the guitar pick and go to the other corner, other side, to the left side. Okay. Once you got the both sides and the back loosen up, remember there is a three clips in right in here underneath this side of the portion of the case. You want to, as, as you lift it up, you want to twist it a little bit, like a little bit twist, and those clips are going to get loose. So twist and lift, twist and lift, and you heard that. That was the clip right there. Now, you want to lift from the back towards the front, and then you're going to get the front end loose. There we go. 
and that's how you remove the bottom cover all right once you remove the bottom cover the battery is going to be right in front of you and the battery has a ticket on it is a sticker right in here that gives you the spare part number this one is an l 1111-9-855 if you want to buy it off ebay providers i mean of hp providers if you want to buy it from hp you have to provide this spare part which is l 1111-9-855 if you want to buy it off market uh, somewhere else you have to provide this other uh, model number which is an ht 3 xl okay now we're going to switch back again to phillips number zero and for the battery we want to remove this screw right here this one over here and one right there and one right on the other side so go ahead and remove these three four screws again they are the same size so don't worry about me smashing this neither okay once you remove the screws all you want to do you want to pick up the battery and you want to lift up from the front side upward and that's it that's how you remove your battery let's say that you got the new one in simply bring it over make sure the contacts match and then push it towards the jack put it in and put the four screws right on top i also made another videos how to upgrade the hard drive and how to add extra ram in case you are interested you can go to my uh, youtube channel and i mean you can go to my videos and you can look for it okay once we put the new battery in all you need to do grab the top cover now with the top cover you don't want to put it flat down you want to put the front corners first so lift it up the, from the back and make sure the corners are matching put that corner and put this side and then while you're holding the corners you want to bring and push down the sides and then you're going to hit clicks you want to hit those clicks all around and then the front you just want to open up the laptop and you just want to pinch okay and the last part will be putting the black screws at the back and the silver color screws in the front and i hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out and if it did you know what to do click that thumbs up button and i really appreciate it if you have any questions or requests leave them in the comment area and again it will be really nice if you guys subscribe it really motivates me to make more videos or take requests from you guys and again thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video oh by the way at the back, at the end you want to press on this side but there's a one two three clips right underneath you're going to hear them doing a click right there so pressing there so get those hooks in place